portrait of the charwoman appeared in Wonderful London, a series of three volumes that was published in the 1920s and which was edited by Sir John Adcock. The book describes the charwoman as one of two famous types peculiar to London, the other being the flower girl. People regularly advertise for charwomen in the situation's vacant columns of the newspapers in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Albeit, as wonderful London points out, the charwomen of that era had come to expect to be referred to by what they considered a more respectable title. Historically, the charwoman, or char as she was often called, undertook the jobs that domestic servants were loath to do, scrubbing the floors, doing the repetitive housework and such like. Many chars were widows. Others were women who had been deserted by their husbands. Some were the wives of respectable working men and were supplementing the family income. They were paid a pittance for the work they did, although the job did come with certain advantages. Their services were always in demand, since everyone from better-off working-class housewives to bachelor writers and artists were constantly in need of them. They also enjoyed a degree of independence, as unlike live-in domestic servants, the charwoman resided away from her place of employment and so was able to return to her own abode once her duties had been completed. Wonderful London enlightens us with a little biographical detail. The charwoman, after years of quiet insistence, has very largely succeeded in changing her title to that of Char Lady. The charwoman's chief stock in trade was her unimpeachable respectability, which was somehow enhanced by her strictly Victorian clothing. But this kind is passing and becoming the Char Lady with more modern habiliments, but with no loss of the respectable. Indeed, hers is a position of trust, seeing that she often has the key of a flat deserted in the daytime. Char has an Anglo-Saxon derivation and in America is spelt chore. Over there, one does the chores, that is, the housework. But the char woman is a distinctly London type and so is the flower girl. You may see this one at Victoria Station. <laughs>